It's early spring and we fled the dreary skies of England in search of Spanish sunshine. If you rise at dawn, despite changing in Paris and Figueres and Barcelona, you can reach Tarragona by train the same day in time for supper. Tarragona was an important Roman colony. Its ruins are scattered throughout the heart of the city. This is the necropolis with both pagan and Christian tombs from the 3rd to 6th century AD. Our hotel, Plaza de la Font, is on the main square. It's a long rectangle because it's built over a hippodrome where chariots used to race. Next week is Semana Santa, Holy Week, and various hermanidades, brotherhoods, are rehearsing their parades. A few remnants of the Roman Forum survive amongst the bars and cafes in the Plaza del Forum. We take a bus out to a section of the Roman Aqueducta de las Ferreres, now stranded four kilometers outside of the original city walls. We take a bus to Les Plugas de Francoli. And a rural walk to the sprawling Monastir de Poblet, isolated in the countryside. It's closed, so we walk back to visit a bodega, which houses a wine museum. A few years later, Judith will make an embroidery inspired by this window above the wine vats. Back in Tarragona, Including a leisurely lunch stop, it takes us seven hours to walk the 11 kilometers to the old town of Altafulla, now a beach resort. And seven minutes to return by train.
Palm Sunday kicks off Holy Week. We take a bus to Reus, where Gaudí grew up. He left as a teenager, so the architecture is not his, but the Art Nouveau style called Modernisme, in his native Catalan, reflects his influence. We travel by train to the medieval walled town of Mont Blanc. At lunch, Judith chooses a local speciality, Calios. You won't like it, said the waiter. She knew it was tripe and insisted. And the waiter was amazed when she cleaned her plate. Under cloudy skies, Samana Santa arrives. The air is chill as we set off by train to Leon. We cross all of Spain, rumbling between banks of yellow and blue flowers, vines on old terraces, fruit orchards and olive trees, distant views of snow on the Pyrenees, the cathedral at Lleida, wind farms and sun farms, through a long tunnel under Faragotha, bursting out into a flat vista with small towns dotting scrubby hills, aqueducts, Signs in Basque in Pamplona, Romanesque churches and small villages, monumental blocks of new flats outside Vitoria, floods, quarries, a new station at Burgos, but the cathedral unseen, thundering through abandoned railway stations and past ruined castles on pine-covered rocky pinnacles, then open country under dark sky with distant mountains, terminating at dusk in Leon. This mock Gothic building with the turrets is the Casa Botines, which now houses a bank. And this gentleman next to me is Antoni Gaudi, who designed it.
Lyon's French Gothic Cathedral is famed for its stained glass. In the Gallery of Modern Art, we reverently observe a pile of detritus and spend some time considering whether a black chair in a corner with a built-in tray on which is placed a newspaper and a can of fizzy drink is an exhibit or where the god sits. Our hotel is a relic of the 18th century. We meet Sandra, one of our Spanish professoras in London, and she takes us on a pub crawl. In the Plaza de Don Gautiere, we are so engrossed in our drawings, we don't notice the falling snowflakes. It's the 2nd of April. We first met on the ski slopes of Courchevel 30 years ago today, and the restaurant presents us with an anniversary cake. Astorga is the seat of the local bishop who presides over the Cathedral de Santa Maria. The bishop, of course, also requires a palace. So the bishop invited his fellow Catalan, Gaudí, to design a pad for him. And this fairy tale castle, in the modernista style, is the result. It now houses the Museo de los Caminos, a collection of pilgrimage paraphernalia. Snow falls as we take a bus across the Picos de Europa to Oviedo, the capital of Asturias. That's a conference center, and that's the view from the hillside where two little churches, Santa Maria de Naranco and San Miguel de Lillo, have stood for more than a millennium. They are post Visigothic, pre Romanesque. That means fine examples of the architecture of the 9th century. We take the toy train to the ferry at Santander. There are 40 stops, which makes it a five-hour journey. Except it takes seven hours, because part of the line is blocked. We have to transfer to the next station by bus. Yesterday's rain caused a landslide, 
and a train came off the track, injuring 14 people. We returned home by ferry to find that our camellia is still not out. <laughs>